Tottenham Hotspur have lost four of the last five Premier League games. West Ham have only lost once in the last two months in the Premier League. David Moyes has never beaten Jose Mourinho in the Premier League. West Ham are fifth. Spurs are ninth. Tottenham need the three points. This is the match preview. West Ham United v Tottenham Hotspur. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So Sunday afternoon, 12 noon kickoff, West Ham United v Tottenham Hotspur. And it would be very fair to say that Spurs need the three points in the Premier League. We need to get back to winning ways in the Premier League. Of course, we got that 4-1 win against Wolfsburg in the Europa League on Thursday. But it is now back to Premier League action and we need the three points. In today's video, I'll be previewing the game, going through all of the team news, what Jose Mourinho has said ahead of the game and all of the match facts and stats. That's my predicted lineup and my score prediction. So West Ham United v Tottenham Hotspur, 12 noon kickoff on Sunday at the London Stadium. And it will be very fair to say Tottenham Hotspur need a win in the Premier League. We are currently ninth in the Premier League. We've played 23, we've won 10, we've drawn 6, we've lost 7. We've got a goal difference of plus 11. We have 36 points. We are 6 points behind West Ham United. Uh, they've played a game more. They are sitting in fifth place right now. Uh, they've played 24. They've won 12, drawn six, lost six. They have a goal difference of plus nine, and they have 42 points. Now, if you remember back to November 2019, Maurizio Pochettino was sacked. Jose Mourinho come in. Tottenham hadn't won an away game in the Premier League for 10 months. Jose Mourinho's first game in charge, West Ham United away. We won the game 3-2. Now, I personally, for me, I'm hoping that Jose Mourinho treats this um, you know, exactly the same way and like a cup final because we all say as Tottenham Hotspur fans that this game for West Ham United against Spurs is their cup final, but we need to treat it as a cup final now because Jose Mourinho gets clubs over the line in cup finals and, you know, Tottenham need the three points. We really, really do. Desperate for three points right now. We need to start climbing back up that league table and push for the European place for next season. The form for both clubs going into this game, well, it couldn't be any more different because West Ham United have only lost one game in the Premier League in the last two months and Tottenham have lost four out of our last five, losing 3-1 at home to Liverpool, uh, followed by a 1-0 defeat away at Brighton, followed by a 1-0 defeat at home against Chelsea and then, of course, last weekend, losing 3-0 um, away to Manchester City and in between that we beat West Bromwich Albion at 2-0 but four defeats out of our last five Premier League games is just simply not good enough and uh, you know Tottenham are desperate to get that European place for next season and we need to start picking up points and fast. As I mentioned, West Ham United have only lost once in the Premier League in the last couple of months. That game was on Sunday, the 31st of January, at the London Stadium against champions Liverpool, losing 3-1. But since then, they have beaten Aston Villa 3-1 away at Villa Park, uh, followed by a 0-0 draw away at Fulham. And then last week, uh, they beat Sheffield United at home 3-0. So they are in fine form right now and keeping lots of clean sheets as well. Jose Mourinho talking about West Ham United's season so far. He said they are doing very well. I believe that in the end of the season, their position and our position, they are not going to be the same as where we are now. They have one week to prepare, one week to rest, less injuries and fatigue. It gives them a better chance. Jose Mourinho also said, hopefully at the weekend, the guys can have a good performance and they can make me look good because they're the ones that make us look good or bad. Team News for Spurs, right back Serge Aurier and midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso remain out for us as they are both injured. Jose Mourinho hinted after Thursday's Europa League win in Hungary that Sergio Reglon could be fit for Wednesday's return match against Wolfsburger in the Europa League, but did not specify whether he expects a Spanish international to be available for this game on Sunday. Team news for West Ham United, forward Macau Antonio is back in the frame after missing two matches through fatigue. So now going to go through all of the match facts and stats. Now, West Ham United could equal the club top flight record for four consecutive defeats against the same opponent. Nevertheless, Tottenham might fail to beat West Ham in a league season for the first time since the 2013-2014 season. 
As I said at the start of the video, Tottenham really do need a win because we have lost four of our last five league games, as many as in our previous 28. And West Ham United are in good form right now in the Premier League. They have lost just once in 10 Premier League matches, winning six and drawing three. West Ham United's tally of 42 points is their best after 24 games of a top flight season since they recorded 48 points back in the 1985-1986 season and eventually finished in third place. Spurs have won just once in seven top flight away fixtures, drawing three and losing three. Tottenham have already lost seven Premier League games so far this Premier League season and it is the second worst return of Jose Mourinho's managerial career after losing nine times with Chelsea back in the 2015-2016 season. Before the Wolfsburger game on Thursday, Tottenham had conceded eight goals in the previous two games, the most a Jose Mourinho team has ever let in across a two-match period. And Jose Mourinho has averaged 1.65 points per game in 49 matches as Tottenham manager. It is the lowest ratio of any Spurs boss since Ramos, um, who had 1.17 between 2007 and 2008. Now, players to look out for in this game. For West Ham, defender Aaron Cresswell needs one more Premier League assist to match his career-best return of seven set in the 2017-2018 season. And we all know, as Tottenham Hotspur fans, that Harry Kane and Hunmin Son love to score and assist and play well against West Ham United. Harry Kane's return of 11 goals in 15 Premier League appearances against West Ham is bettered only by his 14 against Leicester City. And Hunmin Son has scored three goals and assisted three in his last five Premier League games against the Hammers. West Ham United manager David Moyes has failed to beat Jose Mourinho in 15 games, his worst return against any manager. So let's get into my score prediction and predicted lineup against West Ham on Sunday. Hugo Lloris to play in goal. Of course, he is our captain. He has had a couple of dreadful weeks uh, conceding lots of goals. But on Thursday night, he made a fantastic save, which I hope that will give him some huge confidence going into this game against our London rivals. Um, I'm going to go for Javat Tanganga at right back. I'm going to go for Ben Davies at left back. And then I'm going to go for a centre back pairing of Toby Alderweireld and Eric Dyer. Um, in midfield, I'm going to go for Pierre and Mihoibier, Tongi on Dombele. I'm then going to go for Eric Lamella, Lucas Mora, Hunmin Son, and Harry Kane. I think that Jose Mourinho has a lot of options right now. Of course, uh, two players that played particularly well, and it was great seeing them back in the starting 11, was Deli Ali and Gareth Bale. You know, Gareth Bale uh, got a goal, got an assist. Um, I haven't put them in the starting 11 because this is what I think that Jose Mourinho will do. Um, but if you think. Whatever team he puts out, um, whatever players, you know, if they didn't play, if Eric Lamella or Lucas Moura didn't play in this game or even Steven Bergvine, you know, that's another player as well. Um, you know, Tottenham would have a very strong bench. So if Jose Mourinho did need to change it 60, 70, 80 minutes, we have got options from the bench. Score prediction for this game. All week I've been saying a 1-1 draw, um, but, you know... Always, the closer we get to a game, I always believe in my team and I always think that we can do it. And I'm really hoping, and as I said at the start of the video, Jose Mourinho, his first game in charge at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club was West Ham United away. He knew that we didn't win a, an away game for 10 months. And he got us over that line and he got us the three points that day. And I'm hoping, hoping that he can do exactly the same on Sunday afternoon. So I'm changing my 1-1 prediction. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Spurs win because we need the three points and let's hope that we get the job done. Lastly, a few match details. The game will kick off at 12 noon at West Ham United's ground, the London Stadium. It will be live on Sky Sports. You can also listen to it on the radio via TalkSport. And the referee for the game will be Craig Paulson. His assistants will be Harry Leonard and Richard West. And Graham Scott will serve as the fourth official. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put your score prediction and your predicted lineup in the comments section below. Also, check out yesterday's video that I posted. It was a live chat video with Corey from the West Ham Way, a West Ham United fan channel. Some very interesting thoughts and comments from him. So do check that out. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your weekend. And fingers crossed that Tottenham can get three points in the Premier League against West Ham United at the London Stadium. Anyway, enjoy your weekend. Stay safe and well. Until the next video, come on you Spurs.